Welcome back here. This winter break will be a great time for your students to kind of crawl up with a good book, right? State Superintendent of Public Instruction Tony Thurman is making sure they have access to plenty of reading material. He's joining us now to share more about a statewide literacy campaign. Good morning to you, Superintendent. Thanks so much for being here. Morning, Eric. Thanks for having me on. Look, we hear a lot about the uh, summer slide, right? But, uh, you know, there can be a little bit of a winter slide since the kids have so much time off during winter break. I think the uh, here in San Diego, they have about two weeks. So is that the goal of this new statewide literacy campaign to keep noses in books, right? We got to keep them sharp on their reading. Well, it is true that as we enter into the winter break, we are offering throughout the state the gift of literacy for two months. Students and families can download books for free. Uh, unlimited books in English and in Spanish, um, news articles, you name it. This is uh, through a partnership that we just announced this week with a, a company called Renaissance in the Mayan program, and it makes these books available. And it's part of our statewide literacy campaign. And so, um, yes, in fact, uh, for, uh, from now till the end of January, uh, families can download books for free, unlimited. So get busy, do lots of reading. Reading is fun, and we hope that... Uh, folks enjoy this uh, free offer. Yeah, so parents, they can access that right now um, by uh, going to Myon Digital Books. Um, is it just the website they go to, and is this for all grades, or is this just for certain certain uh, school-aged kids? All grades, all grades, preschool through 12th grade. Um, uh, just uh, Families just work through their school district, and they'll get access uh, to the, uh, the, the link to, to log in, and they can download unlimited books. This is all part of a statewide uh, campaign to improve literacy and to make sure that students learn to read by third grade. As we are continuing to, uh, you know, recover uh, from the pandemic, we think that reading and literacy are one of the key skills and that when kids learn to read by third grade, they're more likely to graduate. Um, those kids who don't learn to read by third grade, unfortunately, are more at risk to drop out of school and more at risk to end up in a criminal justice system. And so we've made this uh, a, a major goal. And, uh, and we're excited. There's a San Diego Reading Coalition that we're excited oh, nice. to work with as well. Uh, but this is a statewide campaign. And, uh, you know, the free books to, uh, to be uh, downloaded is, is an unlimited offer. We're also going to, Eric, give a million books to kids, kids who still want to have a book in their hand. We're going to donate a million books to kids throughout the state, um, to families that need them. And again, just to continue to encourage the love of reading for our students. I like that, uh, Superintendent, because um, the kids are doing a lot more stuff online now. Even in the classroom, they're in front of computers a lot more than they used to be. Um, so, you know, there's no good substitute for a good book in your hands. So it's nice to know that, that the state is making that an offer for, for kids, too. Um, is that what kind of got you guys thinking about this? It, it has. And, uh, and so we're coming at it from every direction. It's really just to encourage reading. And to continue to support it, uh, we're working with our libraries throughout the state to make sure that kids get uh, access to libraries and that they get a library card. In just the next few months, we anticipate that we'll help uh, at least another 100,000 students uh, get a library card and get access to using libraries in our communities, um, in our schools. And so this is a, a broad effort. We've got some, some great San Diegans who are helping, like uh, Dr. Francis, uh, uh, Dr. Escobedo, who used to be the superintendent at Chula Vista uh, Unified, um, you know, the superintendent at San Diego Unified has been great, and our and our partners at San Diego County Office of Education all have been great. Um, we'll be doing this statewide, and we hope that people will take advantage of these books and, uh, uh, again, help us in this effort to make sure that children learn to read by third grade. Yeah, you talked about the recovery a little bit there, um, and parents, boy, they'll take whatever they can at this point. They've taken on a lot over the past year and a half, and uh, sadly, there has been learning loss for our kids, and so um, they're, they're happy to get any additional resources that they can. Uh, anything you're encouraging teachers to do in the classroom to help the kids catch up? You know, part of uh, what we'll be doing uh, as part of this effort is looking at how to provide more training to teachers, how we teach reading, how we deal with issues like chronic absenteeism and other things that sometimes get in the way of student success. So we'll be looking at school readiness. And if you think about it, all of this is in conjunction with things that we're doing to help transform schools. As you mentioned, this has been really tough. And I want to acknowledge and thank all the parents. Uh, we know that this has been difficult. We want to thank you for your hard work and your resilience. You know, our schools are open. We're doing all we can to, to recover. Uh, a great job to our educators, our classified staff, our administrators, our school board members. But yes, parents, 
you all stepped in the gap and we acknowledge you and we acknowledge that it's been hard. Reading is a, a recovery skill and you can't make up all the time, but you certainly can. Uh, if you learn to read, you can read to learn anything. And um, we're gonna also be offering every four-year-old in the state access uh, again to a free preschool. We have universal preschool. We'll be offering universal meals for any student who wants one. Uh, and we'll be offering extended after school time and after school programs. All these things will support the recovery and support what I'm calling the transformation of our schools. And by the way, we'll have counseling programs through our community schools program, $3 billion to support wraparound supports to help our students deal with you know, how hard this has been. And so uh, this is an important effort, but it will help us transform California schools. And again, we acknowledge and thank the parents for all their sacrifice. And Superintendent, uh, heading to the library, always a good option to say hi to those librarians and uh, pick up those books here ahead of the uh, holiday break, right? Let's thank our librarians for the great work that they do, all the library staff, uh, this is a tough time for everyone, yeah. but we can get through this. If we keep working together and we shoulder the load together, uh, you know, literacy is a big part of it. And if people want to get more information about what we're doing statewide, um, they can go to statewide literacy uh, campaign at cde.ca.gov. Superintendent Thurman, thanks so much for joining us here this morning and telling us about this great opportunity to keep our kids busy. You know that uh, Christmas song, Dad, Mom, Dad can hardly wait for school to start again. <laughs> I think that's what this is all about, right? Get back in the classroom. Keep that learning going, right? Keep them learning. Keep them safe. And, um, and everyone continue to stay safe and well. And please have a wonderful, uh, happy holiday season. Thanks again, Superintendent, for coming on the show. Have a great Thanks, morning. Thanks, Eric. We'll see you again. Yep. Take care.